Okay guys, to make this jar sensor program, it's very simple. It's four blocks. Uh, let me walk you through it. So the first block we're going to have to take is a normal loop. And I have this set on unlimited. But if you were going to have this tune program, you'd probably have a different condition on. But just for tutorial purposes, I'm going to keep it on unlimited. The next block, we're going to put the jar sensor block inside the loop. And we're going to have to set this on measure angle. And then the second block is a math block. Set this on multiply. And the final block is the steering wheel block. And set this on on. So now for the value B on this uh, math block, I'm going to set that to negative 5. So uh, the closer the value is to 0, the smoother the corrections the robot makes. But the higher the value is, like negative 15 or negative 10, the corrections are going to be choppier. But for me, I found that negative 5 worked out. It may be different for you. So we're going to plug in this angle measurement into A, and then we're going to put in this result into the steering. So, and for the power, my robot has inverted motors, so I'm going to have to put in negative 25. Okay, so now let me walk you through how what this program does and how it works. So, uh, let's say, okay, so you're going to put the robot down and you're going to start the program. And the robot's going to start moving forward, but eventually, What's going to happen is one motor is going to become more powerful than the other, even if they're on the same power, that's just how these motors work. And then it's going to start overpowering, and for this example, it's going to start veering off to the right by 4 degrees. So now the gyro sensor is going to be like, oh no, I'm veering off to the right. And then it's going to send those 4 degrees into A, and then A is going to be multiplied by negative 5. So 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. So what's going to happen is the steering wheel is going to start going the other direction by negative 20 to fix this. And then once the gyro sensor knows that, oh, I'm back straight, I'm at 0 degrees, it's going to stop and it's going to keep, and the steering wheel is going to start going straight again. And it's going to keep doing this until you stop the program. And yeah, so let's move on to the demonstration. 